Hi, I'm Michael Haley, and a lot of people ask me about aloe vera gel, the safety and the effectiveness in the use of aloe vera gel, both as a food and as a dietary supplement as it relates to certain conditions. Check out this question I got. It says, I started drinking aloe vera since my doctor recommended it for my acid reflux, but when I researched it online, this is what I found. And then she pulled this big section of text that I was able to find on the internet. It says, Taking aloe latex is possibly unsafe at any dose, but likely unsafe when taken in high doses. Aloe latex can cause some side effects such as stomach pain and cramps. Long-term use of large amounts of aloe latex might cause diarrhea, kidney problems, blood in the urine, low potassium, muscle weakness, weight loss, and heart disturbances. Taking aloe latex one gram per day for several days can be fatal, and it goes on to all the potential problems with aloe latex. She says, this concerns me very much. Is it really safe for me to drink aloe vera? I'm glad you asked. You see, this refers to research that was done on aloe latex. What that means is the outer portion of the aloe leaf. What they have done for this research is they grinded up the leaves, took out the pulp or the gel, they removed that part, kept the outer leaf, and formed this extract of, you know, aloe uh, that would be used. Aloe latex, high in concentrations of aloe, which is a digestive irritant. Now, this would be like taking a bunch of bananas and peeling them and throwing the bananas away and then eating the banana peels, or peeling a bunch of oranges and eating the, the, the peel without the orange. The outer portions of some fruits and vegetables have anti-nutrients in them that should not be consumed. In this case, Aloin, a strong uh, laxative. Why on earth would they do research using the outer portion, not the inner portion? Well, you see, drug companies will look at this and say, well, if the aloin causes diarrhea, let's turn it into a drug to treat constipation. And that's exactly what they have done. But it was controversial because it's potentially dangerous as a treatment for constipation, that being the outer portion of the leaf. So they did research on it used rats gave them real high doses of aloe for about two years and some of them got cancer which is exactly what you would expect when a gut lining is so irritated that it has to inflame and grow to produce more mucus to be able to protect itself um, it's exactly what happened so it was um, kind of an obvious expectation to be consuming that portion of the leaf which ought not be consumed so um, is aloe vera safe for me to drink? Absolutely. Inner gel only. Don't be consuming large amounts of the outer leaf. Most beverages that you find on the store shelves that are aloe vera are inner leaf only. If you see one that is whole leaf, chances are that it, the whole leaf work was ground, but they either you know filtered out most of the outer leaf and used additives to be able to withdraw that harmful aloe in out of the drink before putting it on the store shelves. The IASC.org, International Aloe Science Council, has uh, determined that less than 10 parts per million of aloe is completely safe. And um, they, you know, if, you, if I want to submit products to them for certification, it must meet that requirement. Many of the products that are on store shelves do indeed meet that requirement of less than 10 parts per million. Not only that, uh, any reputable aloe company, if you ask them for the uh, documentations from the independent laboratories, stating their aloe in content, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to provide you with that, showing that it is indeed less than 10 parts per million, which is nothing compared to what these rats were given, probably in the neighborhood of 6,500 parts per million aloe in. Okay, big, big difference. So aloe vera gel, absolutely safe to drink. I'm Dr. Michael Haley. Thanks.